I am Patrick and I am a graduate student in the chemistry and biochemistry department. The topic I'm selecting is um, selective barium tagging using dry phase Bodipi diazocrine ether for neutrinoless double beta decay detection. Neutrinos are elementary particles that are not well understood. Further investigations of these particles can lead to greater understandings of astronomical phenomenon. Neutrinoless double beta decay is a hypothetical process which involves measurements that is obscured by background radiation. Barium tagging is a proposed method that involves the study of xenon-136 gas um, decaying into barium-2+. And a chemosensor is used to detect these barium-2+, um, daughter ions. Advances to these approaches um, combined with electronic energy measurements will result in potential detection of neutrinoless double beta decay. It can help understand the behavior of neutrinos and lead to further understandings of the origins of matter in the universe. New novel molecules have been made, um, have been synthesized using Bodipi, a fluorescent dye that's often used for staining and um, studied for its adjustable fluorescence. And fluorescence is the emission of light when a molecule is exposed to higher energy photons. Um, this is the new molecule in question. When it doesn't bind to an ion, it will not fluoresce, but when it does, it will. It acts as a uh, off and on light bulb, essentially, and fluorescence is caused by the movement of electrons between one energy level to another. And these, the, off, the turning of off and on of our molecule is dependent on how well our um, crown either can donate electrons to our floor for. Um, and these types of interactions can uh, be altered by adding certain functional groups to these uh, binding sites, such as this benzyl group. Bodibi uh, diazocrown ether was synthesized in a series of chemical reactions, um, first by creating a dipyromethane core and then oxidizing to create dipyromethene, and then complexation to form a boron di uh, dipyromethene, which is this molecule and becomes the precursor to our um, overall molecule. Here, crown ether acts as a binding site and will act as a binding site and it will bind to the uh, Bodipi creating uh, our molecule and further ventilation could lead to our final final product. Uh, the absorbance and fluorescence was studied and they seem to overlap quite a bit, which shows that um, whatever light it absorbs, it will emit its own um, light in the, at 488 nanometers. Next, the fluorescence of this molecule uh, was studied when exposed to other metals in a 1 to 5 ratio and the area of the emission was taken and normalized uh, with a control to help compare the findings. And that is shown in this graph. It has shown great selective binding to barium and to a lesser extent cadmium. Computational studies were made and it shows that how, um, it explains the different interactions and how uh, the, this fluorescence is um, explained. Um, you have these energy orbitals. You, normally you would have two electrons here, but when something is excited through high energy photons, it comes up to LUMO, and then it will come back down and releases energy in the form of light. When crown ether uh, is involved, over here, which, will become, which is the free receptor, it will give its electron to this HOMO right here and prevent this LUMO from coming down. However, when a metal is a bind it to the uh, free receptor, it lowers the energy uh, level enough to where it doesn't donate electron. Therefore, um, the LUMO of here can come back down and fluorescence is, is done or is observed. In conclusion, fluorescent uh, chemosensors were made to detect barium containing, um, I mean barium consisting of bodipi and crown ether. My next objective is to finish my fluorescence studies by taking different months of barium and cadmium and creating a calibration curve. The next thing after that is to create glass using uh, my molecule and link them to the glass and spacing them uh, while spacing them out. From then, dry phase barium detection can be made. Overall, a new type of, of fluorescent chemosensor has been proposed and has shown promising response to barium and cadmium.